Walmart or Amazon, you might not be wanting to pick up a lot of cereals out there, my friends, because a new study found food products like Cheerios and Nature Valley granola bars contain traces of glyphosate, an ingredient found in the weed killer Roundup. According to the Environmental Working Group, the weed killer was found in 21 of the products General Mills manufactures. Uh, guys, General Mills told CNN that it is, quote, the top priority is food safety. So I don't know if you believe that or not. Mike, I don't know why you're laughing because it's a very serious issue, my friend. Uh, it seems like you're getting a two for one, right? You, you can eat some of your Cheerios and then leave them out and, and you know. <laughs> Put them in the lawn? Yeah, exactly. Well, it is, it is important to know that, the, that their, main, their main pushback was traces of glyphosate, you know, trace levels of this, of this chemical uh, are in our foods. And the FDA sets the level as what's safe. But, of course, this was also the chemical that's been tied to the Monsanto cancer trial. And the, mm. and the jury there said that this actually is linked with cancer. So, I mean, it is problematic. Yeah, and they awarded that guy millions and millions of dollars. Good for him. But um, I, I, don't, I, I feel like people are going to shrug this off. Aren't we at a point now where we're used to hearing about pesticides in our food and, and rat poison in our cigarettes? I mean, isn't that the world we live in now where we just kind of well, rat, rat poison in our cigarettes and and I, I remember some truth. I remember cereal. some truth.com, you know. So, but look, I, I, I'm just saying I think that we are at a place now where we kind of generally accept that certain products and foods are going to have these chemicals in them that are harmful to us. That is why this whole natural organic um, food space mm -hmm. is growing so large because people have just generally accepted that most food products are not really healthy for us or they have products in them that pot potentially cause cancer or obesity or a lot of things that we don't want. And sure. so that's why people are eschewing them and going for other different products. I wasn't really that surprised to find out that these you do wonder, Cereals I mean, how many different traces food of groups could killer. get tested and would show yeah. glyphosate in them anyways. We also did the study before that beer also had glyphosate in it. So it does seem like it's just kind of a reoccurring thing no matter what food you test. Well, I think that's part of the problem as well is you're basing this off of the, the, the levels that the FDA sets for all of these things that we have just decided to be okay with. They're higher than a lot of other countries. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And we have just decided in the U.S. to be okay with that. We have a lot of issues to, to resolve in general, so maybe that one's fallen down the, the, the stack, but maybe it shouldn't. Yeah. Um, maybe we shouldn't be relying on so much processed food, whether it's uh, you know Tyson's veggie <laughs> things or, or our cereal. Um, and maybe that is why organic foods are, are uh, coming you know, around in such a massive amount these days. Yeah, not just a trend, but a necessity, yeah. you could argue, uh, if you're seeing things like this. But nonetheless, maybe we'll all just go out and have veggies after this show. I know you're hungry, Kristen, <laughs> so we'll move things along. <laughs>